You might be saying there's no way that you almost lost your world record. It's true. Not only did I almost lose it, is that Teeks did this in a race. So who is Teeks? Well, there is a Mario 3 runner named Teeks88, and he's just in a normal Super Mario Brothers 3 any percent warpless tournament, and he was doing a race against something, and he ended up busting out a juicy 5102. Now, the world record is a 5030, so you might be saying, well, that's not that close. Right, but... We did also break down the world record and do like a, a human theory task and we realized you don't actually need early hammer. I haven't seen Teeks's run yet and I really want to break it down because a 5102 is very, very close to the world record. I'm sure there was just a couple things that he didn't go for, probably safety stuff. Uh, I mean, if he had gotten early hammer that run, probably could have beat it. So it is very close and I want to dive in. So let's take a look and we're going to run through it together. All right, here we go. We found his race right here uh they're doing it on speed gaming 2 and much like most videos there's probably nothing crazy going on on auto scrollers so we're definitely going to skip those try and save some time that's right we're going to speed run watching this but if somebody's getting 5102s i need to know why because that is very close to me losing the world record so let's take a look and uh see what kind of run he got All right, starting 1-1. One, one. Teeks is a very good player, so we're probably not going to see Pipe Rub. Nope, definitely did not see Pipe Rub. Nice, grab that mushroom. Very nice. That's, that's exactly what you want to see. And don't forget, everyone, this is a race, man. Oh my gosh. It's got to be like one of the fastest races of Warpless ever. All right, 1-2. We're looking for that early P-Speed. Looks like you got it. Very nice. And again, if there's any place for me to save you guys a lot of time by clipping forward, like, like let's say he gets early P-Speed at the start of this level and makes no mistakes, we might just clip through and go to the next level or, or the very important strategies in Hammer Brother movements. But so far, he's got a movement of one and a movement of two. It's uh, pretty normal for Warpless. Oh! My goodness! I wonder if... Right? If he would have got that P-Speed, he probably would have got pulled in by the hands, right? But if you think about it, if he would have got that P-Speed and the run was the exact same, he, this could have been a 51 flat or a 50-59. Nice, another movement of one. All right. In order for him to get the Fire Flower from the Hammer Brother, the Hammer Brother will have to do one more movement of two and one movement of one. If he gets two movements of one, he'll have to grab it on the airship. He goes for Tunnel and a race and gets it, man. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. This is what we want. There you go. Looking good. Looking good. He got a movement of two there, so he, he probably wants to see a movement of one here. That would be really good. Nice. He does the middle jump. That makes uh, getting P-Speed here much easier. Looks good. Teeks has got a lot of control over World 1. He's got a lot of control over World 1. Here we go. Do we get a movement of one or movement of two? Beautiful. That's what you want to see. Gets the fire flower. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're just going to skip right to the end of the auto scroller. If anything happens, don't worry. Very nice fire kill. He knew what fire kill and what fire pattern he had to do because of where the hammer brother was. So that worked out very, very nice. All right. So we're not going to have splits here, but... We already know the final time. I wonder if we're going to see any, like, off-screen wand grabs or anything like that. I mean, that, that all adds time. I know Teeks practices door three a lot, but I don't think we're going to see door three here. Maybe, though. Maybe. That'll be pretty exciting. Some door three hot action in a race. <sighs> Tastes good. I can taste it. All right. World two first. Before door three, let's not get ahead of ourselves. He's already made, oh my gosh, another mistake right there. He lost his Fire Flower. He messed up early P-Speed in Fortress 1, and he wall rubbed the purple walls. Very, very interesting mistakes here. He must, he must like clutch it out after this. Because I mean, the mistakes he's made so far are just straight up what caused him to get the sub 51. But then again, right, that's not how the hands work. You can't think like that, but I'm going to anyways, because that's, that's amazing. Very nice. He didn't get 292, so he didn't keep, like, his max speed he got up the hill, but 
That's asking a lot with this level, mainly because the closer you do your jumps, the more time you might lose. If you miss one, you'll fall right into the mode of tears, and it's just the worst thing ever, so he's okay. All right, so he, so far he's only getting movements to two. That's not what you want to see. Does a quick snap turn back, and boom, he gets the earliest P-speed you could possibly get at the start of this level. Unless you use the star. You might be able to get it a bit earlier, but no one's going to use the star here. Very nice, looking good. He's got to wait. So he's going to lose an additional two to three seconds here by not being able to fire kill this boss. And he's going to have to grab his fire flower on the airship. So that alone, like he's already lost like six or seven seconds just from natural world one and world two warpless speedrun attempts. Like what you would see had he not been racing, right? Like if he was doing attempts, I'm, I can almost guarantee he would have reset taking damage. Uh, in 2-1, but in this case, he's obviously not going to. He's going for Green Rocket. That's what we want to see. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, it, it's very weird with World 2. Losing your Fire Flower is not that bad. What makes it bad is that you can't Fire Kill the Boom Boom. Right? You, you really don't need Fire Flower other than the Boom Boom in this world, and you can get it back on the airship. So losing it doesn't cost much time. It's the fact that you can't, yeah... All right, so this is a really, really uh, shitty position for the Hammer Brothers. Like we've, like we've expressed before, uh, you need, you need only the hammer in this world, and you don't really need the music box. In races, I think getting the music box here is okay, which he might actually get. It would make decision making in this situation much easier if he just went down to two five. Okay, so the Hammer Bro- Ooh, he's gonna make a gamble. Okay, he doesn't want the music box. So the Hammer Brother is below the pyramid right now. Very interesting. Very nice movement, and he's out of there. Gets head bonks. Nice, I like the head bonks. Who doesn't like head bonks? I mean, honestly. Ooh, so this could be really bad for him. This could be really bad. The Hammer Brother switch, he's gonna have to go all the way back around. Uh, but if the Hammer Brother doesn't move it of one to the right, that'll be very, very good for him as well. Very nice pyramid. Look at him go. Done. 283 in a race. I didn't, you know. In terms of race strategies, there was no mistakes there. All right, let's see what these Hammer Brothers do. Wow. How is this a... I'm, I'm dead serious now. So, I actually believe that I did almost lose my world record. That that right there alone is like, let's see this. 806, one, two, three, four. That was almost four seconds coming back from that Hammer Brother, which means it was probably close to four seconds going to that Hammer Brother, considering the Hammer Brother could be in his path. That, he is, he is behind by over 10, 10 seconds. Wow, this is his PB, he has so much time to save in World 2. This is the kind of splits that you want. You want to see splits like these in your run. All right, we'll see you at the boss. All right, let's see his fire kill. Who knows what his fire kill was, but he still managed to get it. Okay, okay. Well, that's not bad. So we got a 934 when, when you could potentially get a 919. Technically, that's very hard to get. But as I was saying before, when you have a big time loss at the beginning of your run and you just annihilate at the rest of the run, you could think that that's like kind of bad because it's like the rest of the run kind of sucks because it's so hard to keep up. But you get such a juicy green at the start that it makes it more exciting for you to not only play, but for people to watch, right? Instantly green all the way. So he's going to have a green in World 1 and a green in World 2 almost every run he does. It won't change the RNG though, unfortunately. All right, World 3. Oh, he doesn't get the jump. That's okay though. I don't even know how much time that jump saves. I should really time that. I'd be interested in seeing. It'd have to be frames, right? Not that much time. Very nice, get your swims done. Purple water, I love it. Almost blue water, purple water. All right, so the next thing we're looking for is the early P-Speed. Good Hammer Brother movements too. Oh, he's going for the aggressive P-Speed. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, you gotta watch out for those cheap cheeps. I feel like he also went for that too. Either he's starting to get consistent and that's what he's applying in his runs, or he needs to save time somewhere. He needs to start saving time. Doing it like that definitely saves time on his opponent, I can tell you that much. Oh, juicy movements. We were talking about that yesterday. These movements are amazing. 
He didn't get insta P speed, where his arrows build right away when he lands, but again, that's not that much of a time loss. I think it's like a maybe a 10 to 20 frame time loss. Whatever it is, the amount of time it takes for the arrow to, to check again. Where's Tompa? I know he's in the chat right now. He's going to say it. So if you guys want to know the answer to that, go into chat because I know Tompa will answer what time loss that was. Good Hammer Brother movement. You don't want to see a movement of two, but if the closer that Hammer Brother is, the faster he can start beating them. Oh my god, he did go for door three. Okay, so this run... The, oh my god, he actually went for door three. So in a race... Hmm... So the time he lost in World 2 is not that crazy anymore because he's going to have to go up against a World 3 that is getting good Hammer Brother movements, good patterns. He just got a low pattern. Uh, he got aggressive 3-2. So this, so what's going to happen is that he's going to green World 1, green World 2, and then unless he goes for door 3 all the time, he's going to red, he's going to red World 3. Unless this Hammer Brother moves down, then he won't have to worry about it too much. Oh, juice. Okay, juicy hammer, brothers. Okay. Ah, he got an up pattern, so that's not so bad. He actually almost just took damage right there. That was crazy close. So, um, yeah, that's going to be nutty. Nice, good menuing. All right. Now, this is where, this is the level where you want your D-pad to never fail you. You have to hold up and forward and get the max distance when you jump out of water. Very nice. If you miss one jump out of the water, it's very close that the uh, that boss bass will eat you. It's very, very close. Either you'll get eaten or you won't, one or the other. So it's very scary. You don't want an input to fail. Very nice. You got your one UP. Very nice. All right, we're looking for the H jump. 5102, he gets the H jump, right? There's no way he does it. Heck yeah, he did. He got the H jump. Very nice. Uh, let's see what kind he. Let's see what kind of time he gets when he A presses on the castle. A really, really good warpless run. You want to A press under 14 minutes. So yeah, his world two is still still eating at him a bit. Yeah, his world two is still eating at him. Okay, Wendy, the easiest boss here. Nice. That's very easy kill. Wendy's a joke. Boom. 15, 30. Very, very nice. All right. So let's see how his world two goes. He doesn't have an extra music box. So he's probably going to have to go for 5-1 P-Wing or he gets boxless in world four, one or the other. All right, so for anyone who doesn't know, the first music box that you get is from beating World 3. That's the only music box that you really get from the game for free. I mean, 5-1, it's kind of free. Very nice. 4-1, taking bottom path. Let's go. 4-2, if you guys watched uh, some of my previous YouTube videos, you would know that you get the despawn by jumping on the turtle and shooting him right there at the same time. That piranha plant right there doesn't spawn, and you can do that trick right there. Very nice. It kind of makes this level pretty free. Speaking of free, let's see what these Hammer Brothers do, because they are never free. They never want to work, and they're never free. Oh, juicy movement. That is so nice. So, so far, the only Hammer Brothers that haven't worked for Teeks is in World 2, and it was honestly just like two movements that were nasty for him. He got a movement of four, causing him to have to run all the way around. And there was a movement of two, so that was okay. All right, everyone's favorite. Sick. Always looks so nice. And so he didn't get world record, right? Or sorry, he didn't get early hammer. So he doesn't have to do the fortress in this world. So he can hammer right here. Hammer Brothers are in a pretty decent situation as well. Um, he might be able to get boxless. If that one Hammer Brother that went left goes down, boom. Might be able to get some boxless action. Very nice P-Speed. You got the Duck Strat, let's go. Very nice. Is he gonna get sniped? No snipies. 
Whoa! We actually saw this a couple times uh, in one of my live streams a couple days ago, so... Let's hope that the hammer... If the hammer brother goes up and the other one goes right, you're instantly right away. Uh, you have boxless, so... He's one move away from getting a free boxless here, but... He's also one move away from not getting boxless. It's a uh, very tricky... Let's see what happens. Ooh, boxless! Okay, so... <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of understanding how this is becoming a 5102. Also, this world four is going to be incredibly hard for him to beat. Um, as long as he gets boxless again, he's always going to lose time in world five now, because he doesn't have to do five one P wing, and he gets to use his P wing for either six nine or seven six. Ah oh, man, that's a that's a rough world four. All right, we're not watching this airship. I'll see you guys at the boss. Okay, we're at the boss. It should be a movement of one, so it should be shoot, shoot, jump, shoot. What do we get? 2135. Or a very, very high 2134. I'm not sure. Very nice, very nice. So yeah, what I what I expect to see is he's going to fire flower 5-1 because he has a music box. And this will allow him to actually save one of his stars. So we might see him star uh, five pyramid. Five pyramid is a good place to use a star, especially right at the beginning. So I'm going to see if I can call out some of these uh, decision making here. Because that's all Teeks is thinking about right now. He's like probably wondering about the race, but he's thinking about what he's, what he's got coming up next. So, Oh! Interesting. So right off the bat, I was wrong here. He wants to get this music box and avoid all three bros in this world. It's really hard to tell. If he does skip the Hammer Brother, it's actually pretty good for him then. Right? It's either skip the Hammer Brother or keep Fire Flower. It might even even out or be a little bit faster what he did. I, I, I'm not sure. All I know is that when you get Boxless, you keep Fire Flower because you don't need the music box. And also, skipping Sky Bro box is very annoying. Can we talk about his levels for a second, though? So far, pretty good. So far, pretty good. So the Hammer Brothers are geared up for a movement of four. And of course, sounds about right. They don't have anything better to do with their lives. Is Teeks going to instantly down or instantly left? Yeah, he knew, he knew. Very nice fortress. Unfortunately, he's going to lose just a little bit of time. Not being able to get that fire kill. And hope to get lucky with the bro, but unfortunately, yeah, oh man, he already has the music box, so it was uh, pretty risky, I guess. He didn't use a star in this uh, fortress, or sorry, Twisty Castle, because he did use 5 1 P Wing, so now he doesn't have that extra one because he has to use a star for 5 7. I mean, he doesn't have to, but I mean, if you want to make the right decisions, I think uh, 5 7 star is gonna help you get your Fire Flower back. All right, so I think he wants to see the Hammer Brother move left or right after this level. He obviously does not want a move in a four. Nice, he gets his turn back. And of course, even if he gets a coin ship, the Hammer Brother in the bottom section will turn into the coin ship, not this Hammer Brother. Okay, so that is a pretty rough movement right there. Ooh, he got it. It's a little bit of a slow setup, but he did get it. Very nice. This, this piece of strategy is very annoying when you're big Mario. Fire Flower makes it like kind of a dream a little bit, but not Fire Flower is very annoying. All right, let's see what happens. Ah, see, so his gamble unfortunately didn't pay off. But one of the upsides of this is that he can now put to sleep the Hammer Brother in World 6. So technically he shouldn't get any more extra bros because he has two music boxes and he only needs one. Very nice. Very nice. Juicy 5-7, juicy 5-7. So yeah, even though he has 88 coins, he's still pretty safe. The Hammer Brothers are doing all right movements here. They're not too bad. There we go, movement of one. That's actually really, really good. 
P-Speed. Hopefully we get the Dry Bones. The despawn of the Dry Bones. Looks like we will. Heck yeah. Do, 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 do. Take that. All right, now we have the very boring level. You got another movement of one. Ooh, man, clean it up. If you would have skipped that, if you would have skipped that extra music box, again, this run would have been sub 51. People are catching up, man. That bounty might be claimed this year. That bounty might be claimed this year. What was it, a thousand bucks? Nice, his cloud was only two inputs and he got a movement of one. So he should be able to get a good fire kill here. Let's find out. All right, let's see what he gets here. I've been trying to be very aggressive with the fire kill on this boss. Oh, he missed one shot. There we go, okay. Very close to not working. And he gets a 28-29. Very, very nice. All right, so we have world six and normally you go right into the pipe. Use your hammer and hopefully don't get a marathon. Those Hammer Brothers on the right side are very dangerous. So let's see. Oh, that was close. That was weird. That was a weird, that was a weird kill. Very awkward. Hopefully he doesn't get a marathon. He's good. That's actually a pretty good movement. I'm not gonna lie, that's a pretty decent movement. Don't forget, he also has the music box as well. Very nice P-Speed rebuild. I like to see it. Nice, gets a good rebuild there, and star kill. Take that, Bam Bam. And... Wow, he got a mini marathon. Or something. Oh, they must have split up at level four, that's what happened. Yeah, he got a mini marathon there. That's so annoying. I think they they got stuck and went down by the mushroom house and came up and split at four. Man, that's annoying. Okay. Okay, so he doesn't want that hammer, brother. So what he, he could use the music box in this situation. Go use the hammer, do the fortress, come back for the bro. But I think he wants to kind of guarantee something. I think he wants to get a better guarantee. Because even what I said there is not 100% guarantee, but I think it is if you clear the path. Right? If you clear this level, and then they wake up at the fortress, you might be in the clear. Let's see. Okay, he's, he's, he's golden. Doesn't matter. Let's go. So no extra bros. So that music box, unfortunately, was a giant, giant extra, extra waste. It honestly made boxless in World 4 useless, which is very unfortunate. But that's okay. Now, he's also going to get all movements of one from the bro as well, so there's no point in using that music box. He just has to remember later in the run when he starts dumping items in World 7 to uh, be conscious of the... Uh, yeah. I wonder if he's going to try... <laughs> you put the hands to sleep. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can put the hands to sleep. So I wonder what he's going to do. Is he going to clip or is he going to wall jump? I'm very curious. If he takes damage in this next level, he's probably going to wall jump. Or maybe he takes damage by habit. I have seen other racers do that. Okay, he's not going to take damage. Yeah, so it's actually a really good idea to not wall... Like, if you have an extra P-Wing, you should probably not wall jump. Because wall jump is just straight up slower. And you get to keep Big Mario for an attempt at 6 fort 3 clip. Oh, he's going to go 610. Never mind. So this means he's going to have a P-Wing for 7-6 now. So he doesn't have to worry about anything. Very cool. Now, wall jump is definitely faster than this. But, I mean, you get your fire flower. You get to do some extra fire kills. Unfortunately, he doesn't get an opportunity for 643. I mean, he could try for it. But um, I highly doubt anyone... Right? You, you just spend all this time getting Fire Flower and then you potentially lose it. But he might go for it. Why not? It is a race. I want to say he kind of tried for it. You don't have to jump that small at that spot. I feel like he kind of tried for it a little bit. Very nice Fire Kill. Now he can do a Fire Kill on the boss. And now he can do Fast 7-2 with the Fire. He can do a lot of stuff. Alright, so he's probably going to rush him. Very nice. 
Very juicy subpixel manipulation right there, which is very nice. He should be able to get 7-1 first try with something like that, and he also has the P-Wing for 7-6 and 7-4-2. So as long as 7-1 goes well, he really doesn't have much to worry about in this world, unless he wants to go for 7-9 clips. All right, here we go, 7-1. Looks like he's set up for standing clip. Boom, first try, let's go. I think he does have a star for 7-2 if he wants, but I know he knows fast 7-2. Yeah, let's go. And you get the fire kill here. So you don't have to worry about the other guy. Very nice. He almost, almost pipe flipped on the side there, but he got it. Very close. Ooh, he gets a pipe to pipe. Very nice, but he had to slow down a little bit. So it wasn't a true pipe to pipe, but still very nice. All right, 7-3 is the easiest level in the world. So... I mean, it's intimidating at first, but it's just a lot of full big jumps. Except that one. That's full big. Teeks does it a little differently, though. All right. See you later, wacky lackey. Ah, 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 ah. Nice. So we're going to see item abuse heaven coming right up. We're going to see music box, clouds, P-wings, stars, probably. There's their first cloud. Here comes the P-wing. Very nice. Oh, maybe he doesn't have the extra P-Wing. Maybe I'm missing something. Oh, no, he used a P- That's right. That is right. So he used a P-Wing in 5-1. Uh, that's right, that's right, that's right. For some reason, I was locked on this idea that he had two P-Wings. So, no, he has to clip here. The hot one warp action coming in. Oh, he goes for the pipe rub because he thought he didn't get it. He did tell me about that the other day. He said, uh, if you feel like you're under... Uh, subpixel 3, but you're still on either 0, 1, or 2 to do a wall rub on that pipe. Um, but uh, I saw that he did it. He didn't quite get it, and he did nail his jump perfectly, so it might need a little bit of work. I might uh, take a look at it, too. Seems like a good idea. Here we go. We got the star. Why not? It's a safety star. Nice. He's going to go for the next safety star. And it ooh, ooh. That's okay, though. He has enough time. Very nice. I love how you kill him and then, but you also go in the pipe at the same time. Very nice. Keep his speed to the other side, and he's out of there. Oh, he gets the kill. Very nice. Yeah, take a drink every time I say very nice. No big deal. Everyone's favorite fortress. Love to see it. We're gonna get the uh, the hammer kill right at the end. That's like the best thing ever. Okay, it goes for the the. I have a brain strat because why risk it? Throwing those hammers to kill that one to, to kill that one plant is just so risky. Very nice. Okay, so he's gonna music box skip, right? Yes, he is. Don't use that warp whistle. That would suck. Okay, so tanks, auto scrollers. We're gonna skip right to the hands and see what happens. All right, he's on the Navy now. Oh yeah, it goes for the little small pocket to play around in, of course. Who doesn't go in that pocket and plays? That's the pocket to be in, baby. Breep. Breep. I love the sound the hammers make, it's so good. All right, you guys, what do you guys think? You got no hands? Obviously, right? I mean, there's no way he didn't get no hands. Let's see. Boom, no hands. So no hands is definitely a large portion as to why this is a 5102. And that's safe to say for everyone's PB that gets a really, really low time. I mean, my world record is thanks that I got no hands. If I would've got no hands, I wouldn't have got, right? So no hands are like crazy important, um, but he got it. And this is, a, don't forget, this is a race. He's still racing right now. So pretty crazy. Boom. Rocky wrenches. All right, well, since the boss is so close, I mean, we can we don't have to fast forward through this. And I mean, this level is still pretty cool to watch, too. It's like super fast paced and kind of scary. Some of these jumps are really tough. I used to only P-Wing this level when I was a kid. That's all. Just P-Wing. All right, 8-1. So he might use a star. He might not. Okay, he's not going to use a star. Yeah, either way, it, it shouldn't make a huge difference. Okay. The hammer throw. Level juice to turn back. Very nice. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. 
Nice. So all we have left is 8-2 and 8-Fortress, Auto-Scroller, and Bowser's Castle. And I can't imagine there's going to be anything too crazy from what you would normally do in a run. But we'll see. Maybe he goes for the two-frame jump at the start of the Fortress. Ooh, jumping into a hill is very scary. But he got a good hit. Oh! Sorry, the video froze for a second there, so we had to rewind just a little bit. He got a good hit here, that's right. And... Oh, I think his VOD, I think, yeah, I think his VOD is just kind of broken here. That's okay. That's okay. There's not much I can do about it. The playback, something. Spliced it! No wonder he got a 51 or 2. He spliced! He didn't splice. Okay, he's gonna use the star here. He's not gonna go for the two frame jump. Ooh, body rub. Oh, uh, no. Okay, so that body rub at the start of this level, no conveyor P speed and not keeping full P-speed up the hills in the previous level was actually enough time, I think, to, to stop him from getting a 50-59. I don't know how high his 51-02 was. Like, was it 51-02.3 or something? Ooh, he could have got overkill, too. I don't know if he knows what time he has. I think he suspects that he's on a really good pace. Oh, that bump, too! No! I really feel like everything that's happened after the hands, if it was tighter, he would have been able to get the sub 51. But first of all, you never expect to get no hands. And if there's anyone who's gonna understand making mistakes after getting no hands on a PB pace, it's me. It's very stressful. It's very stressful. And do I need to remind you all that he is in a race right now? All right, Boom Boom, what do you got? Typical hammer kill with the Boom Boom. Typical hammer kill. So he knows hammer suit takes less than a minute to kill Bowser. Like to do Bowser's castle takes less than a minute. So he knows he's he's on 5110 pace, 5105 pace. I think this castle is like 52 seconds or some crap. Very nice. It's a good donut fall. You gotta watch those donut falls. I think he PB'd by almost 20 seconds or something. I don't know what his current PB was before he got this, but... It's very... Oh! Again, man! All these little things! Man! Oh, man! That is so close. My goodness. That was a really good run. That was a really good run. A lot of cleanup, a couple little flicks of mistakes here. Uh, I don't think if he didn't make any of the mistakes that he did make... Ooh, 5102. Okay, 5102.3. Yeah, he definitely could have sub 51 with a cleaner end world eight, like after the hands. But again, it, what do you expect, right? It's so hard. So hard. This is exactly what he got and what he deserved. So that's really good. Well, how long is my record safe for? I mean, a lot of runners are getting on pace to sub 51. I don't know how many runners want to keep grinding once they get sub 51. I don't know which runners want to do early hammer manipulation, but it is getting pretty insane right now. And it is only March. Yeah, it's March 25th right now. Absolutely incredible. I really hope that bounty gets claimed and my world record gets beaten because then I would be right back on that grind super hard. It's very exciting. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown and go give Teeks a follow. I'm gonna put his uh, his Twitch in the description below. You guys can click on it. Congratulate him on his massive PB during a race. And uh, yeah, thanks all for watching. Whee!